Hey there. I'm making this video in preparation for a separation of mixture lab. And on the table here, you see two Petri dishes. Um, they contain the same mixture. Looks like I'm making a mess all over the place. And there are five substances in there. And the goal of this project is to separate those five components of this mixture into five separate piles. So in order to do that, we need to know a little bit about what's in the mixture. And I'm making this video either for um, students who are absent and missed the lab or for uh, the current situation, which is that we're currently in a virtual learning environment and this is the best that I can do with a lab activity. So I'll do my best modeling how to explore the contents of this, each of these Petri dishes and trying to find out what five substances are inside of there so that we can make a plan to separate them into five separate little piles, each pile having one of the five components. So let's look a little bit close, more closely at this. If I zoom in on the containers, I can see some smaller grains that are tan and white. I can see these like pebbles or stones. Um, I can, as I am rummaging around in here, I can see that there are little black things sticking to the end of the tweezers, almost as if the tweezers had some sort of magnetic um, quality to them. And you can see those little black things. I wonder if more of them will get picked up as I spool around in here. You can see them. Um, so if I were able to look at these little black flecks that are, I was trying to knock them off, sticking to the end of this tweezers, I would see that they would look very shiny under a scope. And there would also be little um, areas on each of them in which you could see some orange discoloration. So because I think that there's a hint that this may be magnetic, I'm going to grab a magnet and see if, if there is a magnetic component to this mixture. And if there is, that gives me some ideas as to how I might be able to separate them. So I have a magnet right here, and I don't want anything magnetic to stick to the magnet, so I'm gonna approach it from underneath. And you can see right away that there is matter that is interacting with this. And it's picking up quite a bit, actually. So there is indeed a magnetic component to this mixture. And while I'm going through the rest of the demonstrations, I would like you to think about what that might be. And I will give you a reveal at the end. So uh, this is so much fun. Ooh, I'm making it dance. Okay, so I have identified one substance and I, I think I have a good idea of how I can remove it from 
this mixture. All right, um, let's look at some of the other contents of this. There are obvious like rocks. There's some pebbles here that are much bigger. So there are two types of bigger particles. And one type is, these look like rocks and stones. And here are some rocks and stones as well. And the other type is um, these little, they're like little circular things. And they're kind of flat on one side. And I wonder if I can just bring a few and separate out them here, se separate them out here. Um, here's another one. And here's another one. And I'm gonna just zoom in on those really close so you can see what those look like. Um, if I squeeze them, with the tweezers, I realized that they're really squishy. I was just able to flatten it. Almost like, um, like a crayon. It just feels really squishy like a crayon. I just squished it on there. So this is a really squishy substance. Um, almost feels like a crayon. I want you to think about what that might be. There are several of them in there. And think about what that might be and a way that we might be able to get them out of here without manually picking them out. So the manual removal of the stones and, and these bigger things, whatever they are, is not an option. Um, so, I also have, if we look really close, there are, I'm trying to get it to focus here. If we look really close, there are little grains that are about the same size. And some of those grains are circular and some of them are really bright white colored and a little bit squared i'm sorry about the shakiness it's zoomed in so much that it's really hard to keep it still so those are two different substances the circular ones that look really worn down and then the ones that look like little square cubes right in the middle of those two stones are some square cubes. And um, there are some square cubes right in the middle. So uh, I'll give you a hint. The square cubes will dissolve in water and the rounded uh, little particles will not dissolve in water. You can see a close-up of that those dark particles in here, and you can see that they have a little bit of rust to them. Um, approximately right in the center of the screen right now, there's a little one of those particles that stuck to the magnet with a little bit of rust on it. So we have five substances. We have the substances that attract to the magnet, we have these big pebbles, these. We have these larger things that are squishy and almost like have the consistency of crayon. There's some sitting on the tweezers there. And then we have some finer grained particles, some of which are lighter white color to clear colored and have a cubic shape of which I told you that they will dissolve in water. 
and some of them that are more rounded and I told you that they will not dissolve in water. So the question for you is what do you think the five things are? Once we've established and identified what the five things are, you can make a plan to separate the mixtures. There's a really cool little crystal with a cubic shape. There's another cool crystal with a cubic shape. Um, so you will um, make a plan for how to separate these five things into individual piles. So let me remind you, we have the, you can see my fingers, we have the little rocks, we have the things that attach to the magnet, we had the bigger things that squished and had the consistency of like a crayon, and then we had two finer grained substances, one that was white cubic and dissolves in water, the other that is rounded and will not dissolve in water. So these are some hints to give you some ideas of what you might do for mixture separation. Thanks for watching.